Well, welcome, everyone. Just want to say how excited we are to share results from a big research study that we started in the spring. Um, this is thanks to funding from the President's Office through the strategic planning effort. So this really has been identified, this research effort and learning analytics in general, as a major priority for the university. It's also been made a major priority by the California State University system. You'll hear a, bit, a little bit about that from Rich Levine, who was fortunate enough to get uh, some grant funding through the Chancellor's Office. Um, the Chancellor's Office has a learning analytics initiative, uh, and there's a lot of resources uh, that are being made available for faculty who are increasingly using academic technologies to support their courses, and they're finding that their students are leaving these kind of digital breadcrumbs behind them. And what we'll talk a little bit about today is how you can take advantage of some of that data to help make sure that you're identifying those students who may be at risk of not succeeding in your courses and reach out to them proactively sooner than you might otherwise. Um, I love this quote by Winston Churchill. We'll talk a little bit about some of the results associated with our study and how those relate to a big problem within the CSU, which is the achievement gap. Um, want to go ahead and um, get the clicker to work. See, this is how it always works with the academic technology guys. This is where I step up and hit the right arrow, um, although that's not working either. Um, okay, here we go. I'm done right. now. You guys get to deal with that. Um, so I have two slides. So this is that's the good news here. Um, I got to the second slide, so everything's cool. Um, this is a great uh, definition of learning analytics, and I want to really place the emphasis on the word act or action here, uh, because really knowing is not enough. You really have to be able to act upon what you're learning, and what you'll find as we talk about the research that we're doing is how we're intervening, how we're acting on the data trying to take advantage of these traces that the students are leaving behind them. We'll talk a little bit about how faculty can tap into some Blackboard data. There are a lot of canned reports that you can take advantage of, um, and we've thankfully put together a little job aid or a cheat sheet that can help you take advantage of some of that information within the learning management system. You'll also hear about how we're taking advantage of some of the publisher provided uh, data that's available to you if you if you leverage some of those resources. Um, also want to talk about how students can kind of use some of this data to inform their own behavior and, and uh, help self-regulate, I might say, their own behavior. Uh, 